Hi everyone! Here's another video about Tidari Corfu in Greece and this time we went out to go bar hopping and to find some really nice place to chill and get some drinks. The location where we stayed was just perfect. Look at that gorgeous sunset. The sun rises on the other side is a must see as well. The street is lined with many different accommodations, different apartments, different apart hotels and plenty other amenities, restaurants and shops where you can buy your basic necessities. Just right outside the apartment, you can see this Baywatch boat hire. This is where we rented the stand-up paddle board and the kayak for the boys. But earlier on, we tried to rent the pedal boat with a slide, but they didn't let us because one of them is broken and the sea was a bit rough anyway. So the boys cannot wait to do that the next day. Walking further down the road, there are a few more restaurants offering outdoors dining and sitting areas where you can chill and relax. We carried on walking down the road and we just took a slight left turn and just a few more meters from there, you can turn right and that is the start of the Sidari Strip. That bakery there at the corner is a really good one. They serve really nice bakery stuff and good coffee. And this is your marker to say that you are at the beginning of this trip. So we carried on walking and exploring the area. We do have another video which was taken at night during our first day in the area. So please check it out. It's under our four in a tribe playlist. There are many other restaurants slash bars down the strip, but since we were looking for somewhere we can chill and sit down for a few minutes or maybe an hour or so, we carried on walking because the bars by the strip were a bit busy. So we've gone past the strip and here at the corner where the Three Peaks restaurant is, a turn right and there's a little restaurant called here. If you go straight and slightly go towards the left, you'll arrive at uh, what do you call it? Mm -hmm. Canal de Amor. Oops. See, initially we didn't think that there's still more at the end of the street. The first night we did the walk by the strip, we didn't go this far. This far. Um, because we didn't know that there's some more in here. This is where we bought ice cream from the other night. And there's a few more little shops here on the way to Canal del Amor. There's a nice restaurant here, Angela's. Looks nice. Can you dine by the beach? So you basically just go up here, like a little bridge that you need to cross. Smelly. As we reached another corner where the Canal de Amor village is located, we turned left, walked a few more meters up until to this corner car parking. From here, we turned right and headed straight into this little jetty that will lead us towards Canal de Amor. One of the first restaurants and bar that will greet you as you head towards the road is a beach bar called the Diamor 
beach bar. And as you can see from the signs outside the restaurant, they offer different shows at different times of the week, different times of the day. Further down that end, there's still a lot more bars and restaurants which are all pretty and cozy and just a good place to sit down and chill. The Diamore restaurant right at the corner looks so beautiful with all the lights and everything else. So we decided to stay and order some drinks. Thank you. We also ordered some refreshments for the kids but it didn't arrive so we were waiting for a while up until the kids got fed up and we just had to cancel the order and decided to get it from somewhere else later on. forgot Kuya's order. <laughs> They've forgotten about it. I'm just finishing my corn star martini. Do not throw paper in the toilet. Yes, you read it right. In Greece, you're not allowed to flush toilet paper down the toilet. And moving along at the back of the actual bar, we found a pool, which is so cool. And a few more accommodations over there and a few more sitting area. We made our way back to the strip afterwards and has walked past this beach bar again and we decided to check out what it looks like inside and what they have to offer. Dark. Can't even see anything. So we have to get out of that because there's nothing much going on there. No karaoke or no live dance. <laughs> Can't even see my face now. So it's it's a bit dull and dry there. So we'll, we'll find somewhere else to go.
we've come across this beach bar called Mojitos. So we went in and checked it out. We actually didn't stay there for long because the kids wanted some ice cream. So we basically just had a look around very quickly and took some photos. having some ice cream we found this place called one for the road where a live band is playing so we stayed right there because i have a little rocker here marcus gnr minutes listening to the music we finally decided to head back to the apartment and call it a night